Hello, this is Mr. Reyes. I am here to guide you with our lesson for today. Our learning objective for today, illustrate a geometric sequence. Let us start with a warm-up activity, the fake news. Much of the issues nowadays has been about the exponential growth of fake news. As widely as a real thing, as like the spreading of pandemic virus. How about you? Are you spreading fake news? Mateo is scrolling his messages. In a minute, he receives a fake news that purports to be true out of humors regarding coronavirus situation. After a minute, he sends this message to three other accounts through Messenger. What do you think will happen next? Every minute, an account who receives this message forwards it to three other accounts. Assuming that this pattern continues where every account receives it only once, how many accounts receives the message on the fifth minute? The number of recipients who receive fake news after every minute can be illustrated this way. 1, 3, 9, and 27. And based from this illustration, how do you find the number of recipients during the fifth minute? Can you guess the number? Pause the video and start computing your own. If your answer is 81, we have the same answer. The sequence 1, 3, 9, 27, 81 is called a geometric sequence. How do you define a geometric sequence? Before we proceed with the definition of our geometric sequence, I want you to observe the examples and non examples of geometric sequence below. Pause the video and start investigating. Let us observe our second example 12, 8, 16 over 3, 32 over 9, and 64 over 27. Given that our 12 as first term, multiply that by 2 third, we can get 8. Multiplying the 8, by 2 third, we can get the 16 over 3. Multiplying that 16 over 3 by 2 third, we can get 32 over 9. Multiplying that 32 over 9 by 2 third, we can also get 64 over 27. By observation, that 2 third being multiplied is actually found by dividing any number of a sequence by a number before it. Let us say 12 and 8. Then by 8 over 12, that is simplified as 2 over 3. Let us define the geometric sequence. A geometric sequence is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant called the common ratio. The common ratio, or R, can be determined by dividing any term in the sequence by a number that precedes it. Let me test your understanding by performing the following examples. Put a check if the sequence is a geometric. Put an X if the sequence is not a geometric. Pause the video and start performing. Here are the answers. Did you get it right? Try to solve this and other examples. Post the video and check your answer later. And the answers are... Did you get it right? Well done! Let us try another set of examples. By this time, you are going to get the common ratio of the following geometric sequence. Starting off number 1, 5, 20, 80, 320, 
what is the common ratio? Let me try using 20 divided by 5, or which is the previous term. So therefore, 20 over 5 is 4. So the common ratio here is 4. Now, it's your turn to try answering numbers 2 to 5. Pause the video and check your answer later. And here are the answers. Did you get it right? Well done! This time, you will be solving the next term in a geometric sequence. If you are familiar in getting the common ratio, that would be an asset for you to get the next term in a geometric sequence. From number 1, 5, 20, 80, 320, the common ratio here is 4 because 20 over 5 is 4. Multiply that 4 to the 320, you will have 1280. So the next term in a sequence for number 1 is 1280. It's your turn to solve for items number 2 to 5. Pause the video and check your answer later. And here are the answers. Did you get it right? Excellent job! What if we were asked to find the 12 term, the 100 yet term, and more of that? Do we need to keep on multiplying manually or continuously multiplying by common ratio? I guess the struggle is real. But for you to know, by next meeting, we are going to generate a formula that will ace us to find any term in a geometric sequence. And we are almost done. Let me end my lesson with this quotation. A strength and growth come only through continuous effort and struggle. And I guess you are ready for our assessment. Perform the assigned exercises from your module and pass it on time to your subject teacher. That is all for now. See you again next time.